is very much about creating an urban, lineal, east-west uh, LA where the trees are much more structured in their regiment. There's a rhythm of them, but there is also the opportunity for, you know, for seeding uh, in, in, within those. And it's really the idea that we layer three rows of trees um, and actually make connections to the streets and offset the uh, the entryways. The same idea about the edges being opportunities for smaller seating courts. Uh, here the we brought the, in this particular case, the idea of gateway much further into the site and repeated it so that these become familiar objects in, in the park when one uh, identifies it from the street as uh, actually the, the entryway into uh, the park. The next thing we did on this was, again, we, we maintained the positioning of and breaking up and add, adding more uh, transparency through these two pavilions and adding the opportunity to harbor. <clears throat> but we've made a, a connection between the skating and this sort of major uh, walkway uh, bridge, if you like. And what it does is it allows people that are moving through the park to engage in a much more significant way with what's happening in this space. And so if, if you can imagine on your way to work in the morning or if you're going shopping and you move along this, this space, that you, know, you would be you know, within you know, in, you know, inches of, of actual, a completely different activity, and that is the skating. It's, it's, a, it's more of a loop, a loop system, but in a completely different, uh, in a much more structured way. Uh, the centerpiece uh, does incorporate seating, and we've played with an idea here that we add one or two or perhaps even three very vertical, very kind of interesting uh, pieces. And I'll show you an image of, of one opportunity that this could be, but it's the idea that this is a water piece. And it's a very structural element, but water would actually uh, mist out of this piece and actually spray onto the pavement in the summer in this area. So that it actually is, is quite visual, um, but it's also something that um, you know, kids could, could interpret with without it being a, a formalized uh, water spray uh, pad. The arbor uh, would be proposed to go here, and again, a, a seating band, so that if you wanted to just come and watch what happens in this space, you could actually sit along this edge under this arbor and just get a full dynamic view of the entire of the entire park. It's really uh, almost a promontory overview space. Um, I've experienced this in, in a number of places in Europe where seniors in particular, you know, it, in this one case it was a marina and there was this lineal arbor piece where seating occurred and all the boats were in anchor in the in the bay and people just were there from morning till night and you know, it became a, quite a social space, which is really another opportunity. If it's shaded, <clears throat> and it has a, uh, a, a, an interesting uh, view shed, um, and you interact with people as they move through it, it, it actually has the opportunity to be quite a, 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 a unique destination. The back side of it is what we've called sort of the, the lineal uh, water flues. And again, it's, it's an idea that this space um, really takes on a visual edge to this activity. And from each of these columns, there would be the idea that water would, would have a, a, a spout that would come out, it would run along a lineal uh, runnel um, adjacent to a paved area and a seating element and a, and a written garden. <clears throat> and so it actually is a different way of interpreting water um, without it uh, being just a sitting element or, or uh, a reflecting element. Um, but it actually, again, as you move along this more urban space, you would actually view, view that from this, from this space or from these kind of more playful connector arms or these ribbons uh, of walkways that would also you know, penetrate through, through the site. We've incorporated seating almost, it's not amphitheater seating, but it is sort of a tiered element with, uh, integrated with some planting at the, at the walkway or the stairwell exit. Uh, that would again, for those that are uh, coming to skate, they could put their skates on <clears throat> along this uh, edge, uh, or if you're just coming to watch and supervise, that would occur as well. 
the north-south link and entries into the town homes occurs here. <clears throat> and we've created a pattern off of that where it would create a series of, of gardened um, pieces, if you like, that again, the texturing, it's a complete, it's, it's, it's not as organic as in the initial, or in the first scheme, but again, it creates this opportunity to create a series of, of garden uh, areas. And our view of that is that they, we would not seek to create high maintenance, but rather um, <clears throat> a, a singular material uh, within, a, within a panel, or, or perhaps one material within a few panels. There's the opportunity to have it work within this entire area, or conversely, uh, you know, this uh, arc could be uh, just the soldered area where, where sitting could occur again, if that's, uh, if that's desirable. The, um, the space on the, uh, on the east side um, is this basically the idea of introducing canopy, <clears throat> allowing uh, clear circulation around it. And this is where, again, the dock up uh, unleashed area could occur, but also this could be a play area. And so we left this again just as kind of a place marker on, on this particular uh, concept where through dialogue, you know, the, the, the actual decision about that as a space could, you know, could be uh, uh, discussed and, and brought to uh, a further level of, of conceptual design. Um, we, th we, we feel that the, um, the third dimension is important in these plans because you will be viewing the park from you know, <clears throat> any number of floors, that it actually had a very kind of strong um, uh, floor plate to them. Uh, but yet within the plan, there's a variety of, of spaces um, that basically create more open spaces, more flexible spaces, but also very intimate spaces that are at a completely different scale and can actually become quieter places within, within the park as well notwithstanding that sight lines um, are, are quite important and so we wanted to also maintain that there's always sort of clear connectivity uh, from a sight line perspective through the entire through the entire park and so that's really just uh, on the images <clears throat> and so that element that I talked about we thought this sort of had some real you know kind of intrigue where we could, and I know, you know, there was some dialogue that public art may not be <clears throat> something to be explored at any great length, but if it actually is an idea that it can actually program and create um, these big friendly objects that could be also water pieces, um, they actually may have some, some real interest to the open areas. They become almost the game recognizable pieces within the park. Um, you know, the skating, the, the texturing of the ground plane, uh, the idea of, of these kind of lineal runnels of, of, uh, of water, that the water at the end would basically disappear, recycle, come back to the, to the vertical columns and, and uh, spout out again. And then this is more sort of just an image that begins to kind of express the community garden edge, which is really about still maintaining uh, a textured ground plane, but it would be through you know, different textures to the paving patterns and to the ground plane, uh, and that the canopy layer would then basically knit it all together. Um, also, the, the idea that, that lighting could be quite a fascinating and animating element. What you're actually looking at here are metal fabricated panels that introduce LED lighting. Now, we're not suggesting that this be, you know, something that's overly programmed, but you can uh, actually create quite an interesting effect through subtle use of color <clears throat> and uh, positioning of lighting uh, on elements that really begin to kind of describe the part. So that's really just an overview of our interpretation of the programming that we chatted about at the at the last session, and uh, it's I think it's. It sets a direction where we really present it to you as a framework, not as a not as a completed solution, uh, but something for discussion uh, to see if, in fact, uh, there is a uh, preference in direction from uh, from these two concepts. Thank you. Thank you.